Gemini. Hey, Gemini. I want to welcome you guys to my channel, Two Hearts, One Soul, 1111 Tarot. I want to thank everybody so much for like, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, today, I'm going to do um, a reading about the full moon in Aquarius. It's just what is this full moon bringing us in? What is it helping us get over? Um, really, when I was looking into it, I'm not an astrologist. I just looked into it. Um, kind of to educate myself on what this full moon brings us. And it's it's just being in deep thought. Just something, uh, Gemini's. You guys are air signs, so you guys may think a lot. Of, actually, when I was shuffling your energy, I seen that you guys were coming out of that, like just worrying or maybe having a lot of fear in regards to something. It could be different for everyone, okay? And you guys are following your intuition more. And it's bringing in happiness for you. But this full moon, how it affects you is it puts you in deep thought where you guys are kind of like thinking about connections you have. And this could be with friends, family members, co-workers, what relationships you want to continue building on, what relationships you may feel like, well, maybe we don't have that much in common. So you guys will probably be going through that with this full uh, <clears throat> this full moon in Aquarius. Another thing it was saying is just like the um, urge to do something different. Like or what type of contributions are you making Um to this to the world like you may start thinking what am i putting out there and stuff like that okay so we're gonna just get started first we're gonna get started with um i hope everyone's doing well sorry to just keep uh going on without saying that uh we're gonna start with uh power to the power of surrender to see what can we surrender for this full moon to achieve our hopes dreams and wishes okay or to bring forth. I feel like a lot of people, things are coming into fruition of things they may have been working on. And you guys are going to be closing out chapters and starting new ones and kind of just moving forward victoriously is what I've seen through during your pre-shuffle also. So Gemini, please give me a surrender for Gemini. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So maybe so this uh, full moon, I, I'm sorry if I keep saying full new moon because I keep saying it. I feel like that is, is going to bring a lot of newness in because I keep saying it. Okay. It's saying you guys are going to kind of like get out the energy of uh, looking out for others, maybe even more than yourself. Okay. I feel like that's what it's bringing in for you guys. Let's get a power animal whisper empowerment message. We have the llama. Breathe deep with highs and lows. So maybe you guys been feeling a lot of ups and downs. I did see that in the pre-shuffle where a lot of worry was there. Let's get some tarot to see what this is in regards to. I already shuffled uh, the cards and meditated, prayed on them. So we're going to get straight into this, okay? Please give me messages for the page of swords, princess of swords, sorry. So maybe you guys, someone maybe could be looking at you or I think you guys are just looking for different ways of doing things is what I'm getting from this. A lot of you guys could have been through a transformation, but for some of you guys, this is a relationship you had to heal from that could have ended. It could have been with um, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Pisces uh, is what I'm seeing here now, or it could have been with another Gemini or Libra Aquarius. Let's see what other messages we get. Now, for some of you, I'm feeling heavy that someone's watching you. Uh, the Princess of Wands. Maybe they're watching you move on. I feel like this, uh, yeah, you guys are moving on. For maybe, maybe someone backstabbed you in the past, and you felt like what they did wasn't right, so you kind of cut it out, um, cut them out, and just start moving forward. I feel like this is, um, you guys, this Six of Swords being at the bottom of the deck is you guys moving forward um, to just a better place mentally. We have two that came out, so we're going to take these two together. The Emperor and the Ace of Chalices. This could be this person wanting to come back and heal this situation, but for some of you, I think you guys can take in control of your life and just kind of focus it more on self-love with the surrender of the habit of peace people pleasing maybe you guys are taking control of things in your life and maybe you see the truth in something or someone sees the truth in you 
with this two of cups here. And I feel like they feel like, but they're not saying anything. They are, they are regretful. For some of you guys, you guys could have regretted being in this situation with this person. But for most of you, I feel like someone wants to heal something with you. Could be Aquarius. Pisces is strong too here. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to heal something with you. Let's see. Let's look at this Princess of Swords. Please tell me more about the Princess of Swords. Four of uh, Wands. So maybe a lot of people are watching you guys become more stable. I feel like you guys have someone looking up to you too. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the air, I mean, the air sign, a fire sign too. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And I feel like this person uh, realized after maybe taking some time alone that they want to uh, be with you. But I feel for some of you, you guys just stay focused more on work. Maybe worked on having how you were fear, your fear and worries. And just kind of went within. If not, this is what this full moon will bring you. You're you're you're, you're going to take some time to yourself to real to figure out <clears throat> how you want to move forward. So maybe that's what the deep thought is going to be about. Like maybe all your worries and fears. I feel like for some of you, you gonna guys gonna have a period where you're alone and just figure out how you want to move forward. Please clarify this, Princess of Wands, Six of uh, has moving forward from the past. For some of you, this is a message coming in from the past. Someone wants to come in. This could have been someone that was in and out. Yeah, three of swords at the bottom. Someone you may have had to cut out or someone making a decision. Maybe this person had a lot of options in the past. And it kind of broke your heart that they didn't decide to choose you. So you guys are moving forward. I feel like this person, for some of you, is coming in to make some offer of... And with the, I think they, it, you may haven't talked to this person in a long time and they want to come make an offer of maybe like marriage or commitment. I feel like this was something that caused you a lot of uh, stress and stuff too. So is you, you, it was hard for you to kind of move forward from this. And that's something you also want to keep in mind. Emperor and the Ace of Chalices. Yeah, that's this person. They wants to come. They want to come in. They're coming strong in this reading. This is heavy about somebody from the past. I feel like this person is going to kind of try to come offer an apology. I feel like if this person did have options in the past, they don't now. They're more focused on how to come, to come back with you. Yeah, that's what they're trying to manifest. This person could have a lot going on, though, so it's kind of ha causing them to have to wait. And this could be you for some of you, you know, with the lovers here. Whoever this is for, you guys have a strong connection. You could have been a very patient with this person in the past, too, with their in and out energy. But after a while, I feel like you lost the patience and decide to move forward. And I feel like that's why they're coming back. Let's um let's look at some other cards, okay? Please give me messages. Hold on, I gotta try to figure out a way. Please give me messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of uh, rest of eight August. Full moon strength. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. So a lot of you guys are showing great strength. You guys may see 1111 a lot too. For some of you, um, this is saying that when this person comes in, maybe great strength to keep moving forward. Seven of spring. Be assertive. Don't back down to don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. With that in strength and people pleasing, I feel like is this is a strong message of um 
you just kind of standing your ground and, and taking up for yourself. Don't let anyone tell you something um, basically of what you, if, if that's your belief in, then stand strong in it is what I'm getting. Let's see. Let's get one more. Whoa. Okay. The hermit came out. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. And at the bottom, you got Prince, Princess of Summer, a new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So I feel like after you guys take some time to figure out where you want to go and grow more spiritually, you may have a new relationship coming in for some of you. For some of you, this could not even be a love relationship. It could be a relationship with friends or even a mentor. Finding someone else you can talk to. The Nine of Winter is under there, too. So a lot of fear. Um, maybe you guys are going up and down with your emotions is what I'm getting. Let's look into some Sacred Traveler's Oracle cards. <clears throat> Sorry, I got to spray my hands to even grab these ones. Give me messages for Gemini. Get the big picture view from above. Saying, look at things from a higher perspective. Yeah, especially with the highs and lows here. Maybe sometimes you look at things from a higher perspective, fogged in, go slow, take time. And then other times you kind of like get to a point to where you're kind of like irritable or just kind of looking at or get down about things, about the way things are going. I feel like this new moon, the reason why this is coming up is because you're going to start seeing a big shift in this energy coming out of this and going towards a, um, if you were like kind of people pleasing in the past, you're going to get out that energy and start focusing more on your self-love. And that's why this is coming up. This full moon, full moon is taking you out of anything that doesn't really work for you, for your highest good. Opening your... To your spiritual source. Wow. Would get the view from a, I feel like the divine is helping you a lot. For some of you, your intuition is finna get stronger. Ascending the mountains, keep going forward. So you guys are moving forward successfully, I feel. Unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be. Hopefully, I'm sitting this right to where you guys can see it. So, yeah, the divine is telling you you're where you need to be to keep moving forward. You guys are finna start opening your spiritual source. So, you, um, just ask the angels for help. They're, they're coming in to help. And view from above. It's just saying take time out. Maybe go into solitude and to take time out to get the big picture. I feel like with other um, other air balloons here, there there's people around you, especially with the friends that can help. There's someone around you that could kind of help you through any process where you may be feeling low. And with this ascending the mountains, maybe things were a struggle, but it seems like ascending, which means that you're you're moving up the mountain, so things are finna get better. A lot of your cards is like moving forward, moving up. So it seems like a lot of you guys are like ascent, like leveling up in a way spiritually. And if you guys are wondering if you're going to down the right path, it's saying you are exactly where you need to be. Oh, staying focused and hold the course. And also it says uh, follow your bliss. So do what makes you happy other than what uh, you feel like make others happy. Hold course. If you, you're where you need to be, all you need to do is keep moving forward. Just stay focused. And with this uh, navigated by stars following your bliss, I feel like it's saying that the divine are, is guiding you. And it's also take taking shelter. The answers are within, okay? So that's what I have for your Gemini. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.